Hello everyone and welcome to Algo Test. Today we have something special. Today we have a new asset class that we have introduced very recently on Algo Test. Cryptos on Delta Exchange. How to use them? How to backtest them? Algo Test is the only platform in the country that provides backtesting on Delta's options. So let's check out how to backtest your options on Delta and to see what to keep in mind while you're seeing the results. So let's start. Here's my dashboard. I'll go to the create strategy button. Over here, you'll see that Delta Exchange has been added as a tab. Currently, they provide options in two instruments, Ethereum and Bitcoin. We're going to look at Bitcoin first. So what's the idea? The idea is the expiry of options on Delta is at 5.30 p.m. We're going to sell an iron fly almost an hour before and we're just going to keep it there. No stop loss, no re-entry, no target. We're just waiting with a non-directional strategy for the decay. Let's see how that works. So I'm going to sell the option at 4 p.m. I'm, I'm, and I'm going to exit at 5.29, one minute before the expiry. So let me sell a call, add the money, then a put, add the money. You'd see here, we have either today or tomorrow as the expiry option. The reason for that is Delta's options start at 5.31 p.m. on day one and exit at 5.30 p.m. on the following day. There are no holidays and the markets are open 24-7. So that's the reason. So we are going to select today and today. The next thing I'll do is I'm going to buy an out of the money call. Let's do it as OTM5. One for the put and one for the call. And we're going to backtest it since 1st Jan 2025. That is the data we have currently. We are in talks with Delta to procure more data and extend this timeline. All right. Now, this is my p l graph, as you know, but how to look at it and how is it different from the Nifty and the BSE results, we're going to check out here. All right. First of all, all the numbers, all the p l associated here are in rupees. Now, you would say in around eight months, uh, this strategy has only yielded a thousand rupees. Let's hold on over there. First, we need to understand how much is one lot of Bitcoin. So one lot of Bitcoin is a thousand of Bitcoin. Now, let's suppose the value of one Bitcoin is a hundred thousand dollars or 85 lakh rupees. All right. You divide 85 lakhs by a thousand, you get eight and a half thousand. So one lot is only eight and a half thousand rupees. That is the reason the amount you make is very, very small. All right. Second thing that I want to draw your attention to is the trade report. The entry and the exit price over here are in dollars, but the PNL is in rupees. I want to make another point very clear. On Delta Exchange, $1 equals 85 rupees and that is fixed. It does not change daily, monthly or even quarterly. They have fixed the amount of the dollar at 85 rupees. They change it periodically but not at a daily or a monthly or a quarterly basis. Having said that, I would like to reiterate that the entry prices are in dollars as per the amounts on the exchange, but the PNL is in rupees. Please keep that in mind. Now we have received a lot of questions regarding taxes and charges and brokerage. We are working on that with Delta and we are going to come up with a calculator very, very soon. We are going to make many more such videos in which this portion would help you calculate the taxes, charges and the brokerage. Now coming to slippage. All right, so I have traded on Delta Exchange and as per my observation, there is around a 10 rupee bid ask spread 
for an option that is trading around 300 rupees which equates to around 3 to 4 percent of possible slippage all right so here in my results i usually keep a slippage of four percent another very important point the backtest data for delta is based on the mark price and not the ltp what is the mark price let me show you on delta the mark price is basically the midpoint between the bid price and the ask price it's usually that all right mark price is not the price on which the actual trade happened but it is the price which is the mid between the bid and ask which is why we have taken a four percent slippage which usually equates to the bid ask spread all right if the option is trading around thousand rupees i am expecting the bid ask spread to be around 40 rupees it can be 30 it can be 20 but i'm taking the worst case scenario another thing that people have asked us is where's the margin calculator well guys the margin depends on the leverage setting that you have on your delta account i might be levered 50x but you might be levered 100x so your margin requirement will be different from my margin requirement to understand how the margin or delta works please go below to the link where we have explained in detail how the margin works for the back testing we have added all our functionalities from range breakout to momentum to portfolios and so on so i would request you all to first try back testing on delta exchange and then only go live currently the live is not available and is in testing stage but if you would like to get your time based crypto option strategies live before we bring it on our platform you can check out ramneet's crypto community the link is below where he has made a trading view pine script based on which you can do time-based strategies on delta through algo test all right the back testing is available but live execution will be available very very soon guys this is the first video an introductory video on our long series of back testing on cryptos we would love to get your ideas on it as well we will be adding much much more videos with more intricacies about cryptos and Algotest is trying to add more assets and instruments for the benefit of you traders. We would love to hear from you as well and we would love to know what else you would want. I hope you like this video. We are the only platform which is providing backtesting on cryptos in the country and we hope you use this tool wisely and efficiently. Another big big disclaimer, trading in crypto options is still very risky if you are a very risk averse trader i would request you to start off with nifty or start off with forward testing your crypto strategies before deploying money in it be careful of using leverage because wrong use of leverage can wipe out your capital thanks a lot and i'll see you in the next video